I am excited to present this video of my brief two-hour trip to the Hoover Dam. As you watch this introduction video and images, I'm going to do things a little differently as I will reduce the amount of audio from yours truly and provide more video with the appropriate background music. This was my very first visit to the Hoover Dam and on a windy and clear afternoon, I was amazed with the size of one of the world's largest concrete structures when built during the Great Depression. It took five years to build and when completed in 1935, it was the world's tallest dam at 726 feet or the height of a 60-story skyscraper. Do you know that an entire city, Boulder City, was constructed to house the 5,000 workers to build the dam? In fact, it took over 21,000 workers to build it, and that was the average number of workers per day was 3,250. As you watch the videos from the Bypass Bridge walkway, you are standing about 900 feet above the Colorado River and approximately a quarter of a mile away from the dam. In fact, the bridge that supports Interstate 11 to cross the river is over a quarter mile long. Folks, if you've never seen the Hoover Dam with your own eyes, I highly suggest it. Suggest that you put it on your bucket list. Please stay tuned for the entire video presentation as it will provide you a different perspective once I get access to the road level of the structure. As I left the bypass walkway and drove down to the Hoover Dam Road level to proceed from the state of Nevada to the state of Arizona, please keep in mind that I had to mute the sound from the video due to how close the walkway is to moving vehicles. Frankly, if you are scared of heights, this experience is not for the faint of heart. First, there is only a steel fence of about five feet high on one side and then a concrete wall on the other. In addition, I was visiting Hoover Dam on the busiest travel day in America, the Sunday after Thanksgiving.
When you plan to visit Hoover Dam, let me provide you a few suggestions. Take the walk along the pedestrian bridge. There is free parking along the Arizona side, but it might require a short walk. Don't visit on weekends and certainly not on holiday weekends. Don't visit during the summer months with temperatures in the hundreds. Bring plenty of water with you to keep you hydrated. And if you have the time and the money, take the Hoover Dam tour. I would like to thank you for watching my video presentation of Hoover Dam. I think one of the more complete and concise videos of a walk around of that area. Uh, in addition, I have only done six videos on my YouTube channel. I certainly would have to think that this is my best in forms of presentation, in forms of music, and how it flowed. If you agree with me, please feel free to hit the like button. These videos take me quite a lot of time to produce, and it's my pleasure, but uh, getting some likes and favorable comments are always appreciated. In addition, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe, as I'm going to be having many more videos as I am going to be a full-time van owner living and traveling in North America and Canada in the very near future. And remember, it's not so much the designation that's important, but the journey to get there. Thank you and have a great day.